Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about epilating. Now this is one of my very favorite topics because I am obsessed with hair removal, like I'm obsessed. So what is an epilator? An epilator is a hair removal device that pulls the hair out directly from the roots. It's semi-permanent because it pulls the hair out of the roots. It takes a while for the hair to grow back. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about my general experience using epilators for a year consistently and what my results have been like. So the very first thing I'll talk about is price. I had three epilators that I've bought so far. So the very first thing people ask me is, is it painful? <laughs> yes, it is painful. It is very painful. It is, compared to waxing, I haven't been waxed professionally, but I've tried my hand at waxing myself as an amateur, and I can honestly say it's less painful than waxing, in my opinion, because waxing just rips everything out all at once, and it's horrific. It's terrible. But this actually gives you time to like recuperate and still come back and continue if you need, need to. I can compare, the only thing I can compare the pain to is like it has like a very prickling, sharp, needle like pain. Like it feels like you're being pinched. Because if you've ever had tweezers before, you know what it feels like. Because, like I said, or if I've said it before, if I edited it on that, I'm not sure. But, I, but the epilator is made up of tiny tweezers that are at the head of the device. So it's just a very fast process of multiple tweezers tweezing at the exact same time. So yes, it is painful. Level of, the level of pain just depends on the individual. Everybody has different levels of pain tolerance, okay? I consider myself to be able to tolerate pain reasonably well. Like I don't think I am superwoman, but yeah, I have the ability to like take things that I think other people wouldn't be able to take. I'm not afraid of getting injections. I have very bad dysmenorrhea and I still survive. So like, you know, that's where my pain levels, my pain tolerance levels are at. Um, so what affects how much pain you have? Well, it depends on um, how much hair you have. The more hair you have, the more you have to ablate, the more pain. How coarse your hair is, Again, the thicker, coarser your hair is, the more painful it's probably going to be. It depends on the epilator itself and how many tweezers it has. It also depends on your skin type. Is your skin sensitive, firm, or saggy? Most times, more expensive epilators have more tweezers per head. That means that it, you require less passes in order to remove the same amount of hair because there are more tweezers. So compare having just five tweezers, do an arm, so having 50 tweezers. With the 50 tweezers, you just have to do like once or twice and most of the hair is gone. But with five tweezers, you have to constantly have to redo the same area over and over again. And those are the kind of things that bring about irritation. That's number one. Number two is the mechanics. More expensive devices tend to be stronger mechanically. So why is this important? Because you don't want something that is going to just pull out the hair, not be able to have the strength to pull it out completely and then break it. That was the very first problem I had in my very first computer that I bought years ago. And that's why I just wash my hands off the pleasing because I was like, oh my god, this is painful, it's not worth it, it's not removing the hair like it's supposed to, and I'd rather just shave. Because it was giving me the same results as shaving, it wasn't pulling the hair out completely, it was just 
taking off the top and breaking, basically breaking the hair. So I was suffering the pain of epilating without actually having the results because it was just breaking the hair off and the, the roots were still inside my skin. So you need something that is strong but has very good mechanics. The, the 22 pound one I bought the, was a bit better in terms of breaking my hair because it was breaking less and it was pulling my hair out more effectively. But still, nothing compares to the most expensive 80 something pound one I have. That one is the best. And some more expensive equipment also have like massage capabilities. So it has the ability to like vibrate and massage as it's pulling your hair out. I didn't get that type, but there are applications like that and they are on the pricier end of things. Another question people often ask me is, do you get used to the pain? Does the pain ever reduce? And my answer to that is, well, it depends on what you mean by does the pain ever decrease. Like the pain is still the same. No matter what you do, you're still plucking out your hair. Your hair does get finer over time the more that you do it because you basically just give yourself traction and alopecia. That's what you're going to do, constantly causing disruption to your hair follicles is going to make your hair grow thinner. So yes, it does reduce in that sense because your hair is not as coarse and definitely it's going to be a little less painful. Um, but yeah, it's still painful. You're squeezing your hair, it's painful. I will say this, although in my experience, every single time I've updated, it's still been just as painful as the last time. One thing that really equalizes it, if that makes sense, is the fact that you get numb. The more you epilate, the more that area gets numb. And within that epilating session, I mean, let's say I'm just doing this arm, the more I'm doing it, the, the number the arm is getting. So it gets to a point that it's not painful anymore because literally it's just, just not painful anymore. Now, what my, were my results like after one year? In my personal experience, I don't know what they mean by, oh, epilating can last up to four weeks or like a month or whatever they say it is. My hair from day one till now, within a week, I start to see new growth, like clockwork. I don't know if it's just me or if it's like that for other people that these are places, but for me, that's exactly how it was. One week, my hair is back. All that happened was that my hair became thinner. Some of them didn't grow back. The individual strands became thinner as well as the overall population of hair on in my armpit became a whole lot less. But my hair growth cycle never changed. Meaning that, like clockwork, after a week, my hair is back. Is it as thick as it was before? Nope. But it's back. That was what my results were like. Now, on to tips. How can you make your epilation experience less painful? Step one, relax. Like, I mean it, like, relax. It's literally not that serious. It's just hair removal. Like, you're not going to die from it. It might be painful, but, like, relax. If you were stressed out, you tend to tense up and that makes hair even harder to remove and guess what happens when it's harder to remove it's more painful <laughs> so that's step one relax step two warm not cold skin warm skin always better than cold skin my next tip is do a little portion at a time do a small portion at a time i've seen a lot of youtubers do a placing for the first time videos and do this this is my current epilator the Silk Epil 1, 9, Silk Epil 9. So I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this. Hell no! What you want to do is this. Once that place is done, you start moving a little bit to the next place, moving a little bit to the next place, moving a If you want me to do an actual tutorial on how to epilate, I can. If you're interested, drop a comment below and I will. But basically that's what you want to do, a little at a time. It just, it, it makes a, a world of difference because like I said before, you get numb the more you do it. So that place, once you have done it like three times, it stops hurting. Then you can do this part, it's not hurting that much anymore. Do this part, it's not hurting that much. Then you can do one field sweep, 
continue doing like that and everything is hurting a little less than just doing don't do that don't do that my next tip is use numbing cream if you can when i first got started with epilating i actually bought numbing cream that i never really got around to using i still have it full in my drawer somewhere because like i said when it comes to pain i'm not really that squeamish especially when it's sharp short bursts of pain for me it's just like i rather just bone face it i just take it but if you're the kind of person who's very sensitive to pain sorry my hair keeps doing whatever it's doing <laughs> so if you're the kind of person that's very sensitive to pain just get a numbing cream make your life easier get a numbing cream like i said for me personally my hair starts to grow back after a week and once I see my hair growing, I place it off. That helps me to reduce the amount of pain that I'm going to suffer if I allow the hair to get to its full potential. So it's better for you to ablate five hairs, just whoop, and it's gone. And just do it more frequently than for you to wait for a month for the hair to grow in its full glory, be thick, full, and luscious. Now you bring that up and and try to take it down. What do you think is going to happen? Like, it's going to be painful because the hair is plenty. The more it is, the, the, the more we have gone through this before, the more painful it's going to be. So, do epilate as often as you can. Just fight little battles. It's better for you to have a little bit of five minutes pain a week than for you to have 10, 20 minutes of pain at the end of the month because you have let your hair grow out of control. So those are the tips I'll give you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will tell you again, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Not only are we fun and <laughs> entertaining on this channel, but we're also informative, we're also cool, we're also vibing, we're also helping, we're also, you know, lit. So hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.